What's the weather like in Paris? It's a little rainy. rainy. Again. Okay. Yes. I know, thank God they did get all of their events in from what I've heard. So the rain came at the right time. It's oh. coming in while they're sleeping and hopefully can, you know, give people some yes. peaceful rest. I know go. a lot of people like a little thunderstorm at night. I actually have the radar pulled up for Paris and you can see like a cluster of showers and storms rolling right through there, kind of along the western side, off towards the northwest. So definitely some heavy rain there. Hopefully it doesn't put a damper on things for the next day. Now locally we are dry but we are very hazy. We have wildfire smoke overhead, ozone building up. You can barely see the Wellsville Mountains here off towards the looking, I actually don't know what direction we're looking but that's up in Cache Valley. Cache Valley currently has their air quality reduced to that orange category, so the unhealthy for sensitive groups. And we can see a couple of those orange and yellow sensors mixed in here as we go through the Salt Lake Valley. When we get closer to Provo and to Utah County, their air quality is still okay, but still might be looking a little hazy no matter where you are in northern Utah. So you can see all the numbers here that have put several spots in that sensitive orange category. Now we have had a cool front move through northern Utah. Utah earlier today. That's allowed for temperatures to be just a little bit cooler compared to yesterday and still below average. But as this system passes by, we're going to see a high pressure move back west and this is going to keep winds coming in from the west at least through tomorrow. So what that means is we're going to have the wildfire smoke in California still stick around at least for northern Utah throughout the day tomorrow. So it's 92 degrees right now. The entire state is dry, mostly sunny, 92 in Ogden, 97 in Moab, and 100 degrees in St. George. Overnight tonight, temperatures are going to fall into the mid-60s, so that cool front ushering in just a little bit cooler air overnight tonight. And skies are going to stay mainly clear, but when we wake up tomorrow, they will be hazy yet again. We do have one more day with temperatures below average, so we'll be in the low 90s, which is just a few degrees below average for this time of year. Then that high pressure system that I mentioned that's going to build west back over Utah is going to be overhead by Thursday and that will allow temperatures to be right around near that 100 degree mark if not over it for a couple of days all the way through almost our seven day time period. Now do we have any rain chances? Not really. It's going to take some time for moisture to move in with this high pressure system. So southern Utah you will see some rain chances as early as Friday. That's in the southwestern corner. Probably some dry lightning. Then as the weekend goes on that's when we'll see rain chances move northward into northern Utah by Monday. Salt Lake City, you've been really lacking rain here. We have only eight hundredths of an inch this month where we normally have seen um, half an inch so far at this time. And we've been in quite the deficit, lacking two inches of rain since April. Obviously, if we get a thunderstorm, we can really quickly make that up. So central Utah tomorrow will be in the low 90s with mostly sunny skies. Southern Utah, we have lots of sunshine as well. You'll be away from the haze. Upper 80s in Monticello. 103 in Moab, as well as 103 in St. George. 105 on Thursday there, then teetering around 104 and 105 for a good portion of the seven day, adding partly cloudy skies as we head into the weekend and possibly an isolated thunderstorm chance for St. George as well. Near 90 for Northern Utah, Wasatch Front feeling very similar tomorrow compared to how it felt today. We'll have sunshine, smoky skies, reduced air quality. Hopefully we can get some of that smoke out of here on Thursday, but we may have to add smoky back into the forecast then. Temperatures will be at 101 on Friday, 102 Saturday, then near 100 as we head through the weekend to the beginning of next week and hopefully adding some rain chances, possibly Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, we love when those storms just clear out this yucky air. Yeah, we do need that. <laughs> yeah. Get All some right. of that Paris rain in yeah. here, right? If only I could just, just blow it in. <laughs> move it here. <laughs> Thanks, right. Evan. Yeah. Stick around, much more to come. First, so